Fans are ready to don a jersey, grab their lightning rods, and flee downtown now that the Winnipeg Jets have clinched a playoff spot, but no one who knows is ready to talk about whether there will be street parties this year. Its sixth-time team has been postseason replacements since Jets 2.0 moved from Atlanta in 2011 to 2012 season. Maya Dowson, an 18-year-old Jets fan working downtown, was so stunned Wednesday that she had to re-watch key moments from Tuesday's game to make sure it was real. Ruth Bonneville Winnipeg Free Press Maya Dowson, 18, a downtown Jets fan, was so stunned on Wednesday that she had to re-watch key moments from Tuesday's game to make sure it was real. Okay, wait, was that a dream? But thank God it wasn't a dream, she said. He spent the lunch hour at the Arena Jets store and bought a Mark Sheffield jersey and a white t-shirt with We Are WPG. He said he plans to buy more all-white gear to cheer up his team. It definitely brings the city together, everybody's excited for the whites, he said. All over Instagram, the only comment was Winnipeg Whiteout. Game time street parties drew tens of thousands of fans downtown during the pre-pandemic playoff runs in 2018 and 2019. True North Sports and Entertainment, governments and downtown organizations were tight-lipped Wednesday over which public celebrations to hold when the playoffs kick off next week. It's been a busy time, John Alford, President and Chief Operating Officer of True North Sports and Entertainment, told the Free Press. In addition to launching a new season ticket campaign, Alford said the organization has just begun planning public events in connection with playoff games. The 2018 festivities, which were free, cost about $2.2 million. The 2019 parties were organized by Economic Development Winnipeg True North, with the support of city and state governments downtown Winnipeg Biz for $5 per fan. The money was donated to charity. On Wednesday, True North did not respond to a free press request for comment on white party plans. City of Winnipeg spokesman David Dredger did not comment and told the free press to contact True North. Stay tuned, said Olivia Bilson, press secretary for Prime Minister Heather Stefanson, when asked if the state plans to fund the cost of street parties as in 2019. We are proud of our Winnipeg Jets and excited for their journey ahead. Stay tuned for an announcement this week. The Premier said he looks forward to joining the loudest fans in NHL to cheer the Jets in their pursuit of Stanley Cup. John Woods Canada Press files street parties during the match gathered tens of thousands of fans downtown during the pre-pandemic playoff runs in 2018 and 2.